leave me, get leave me, get me. yes, yes, Lord Jesus, good evening, how y'all doing this here evening, Ooh. yes, Lord, now, those who know how I like to do about this here time, you know what I'm talking about, and pray for this kingdom family of mine tomorrow. Pray for our family and pray for all those who are in need. Yes, indeed. Lord Jesus, we thank you, Heavenly Father, for always coming through for us, for always being true for us. We give you all the glory, Lord Jesus. We no longer believe in you. We know of you. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. There is a tremendous difference. We trust in you fully, Heavenly Father. We thank you for going before us, fighting our battles, seen and unseen. We give you all the glory for our story. You are our narrator. You have already written it for us in your blood. We thank you for all your protection and support for us and our children. We plead your precious blood over us and all that concerns us. We are connected to you, source, confident in you, Lord, and in our family. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Ooh. Yes, Lord. Now, Tyler, who <laughs> talk about? Thumbnail, as you can intel, you know what I'm talking about? It says, so not for sale. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. Now, y'all know that I'm a happy joint. You know what I'm talking about? And my happiness stems off from the Lord Jesus Christ. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, like my baby said, you know what I'm talking about? And I come into agreement with my reader. I come into agreement with you, baby. You believe, you receive, you achieve. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. Steps. You know what I'm talking about? The steps that he establishes for his children. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. Into knowing. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You see, he'll take a non-believer. And make that joint into a believer. You know what I'm talking about? And then when that joint becomes a believer, you know, that's just like something else that I'm going to get into a little bit later on. Some things that we have been programmed and it has been beaten into us, our brains, until it became a way of life that we must break some things that we might know as tradition or or something like that as a ritual as a routine you talking about some of these things ain't all what they seem you know what I'm talking about I'm, I'm looking for the example. Just like belief. I'm going to use belief as this example for right now until I get to, you know, one of the other things that I've come to realize on this journey with God. You know what I'm talking about? Belief leaves room for error. It leaves room for doubt. That's why the devil attacks your belief. You know what I'm talking about? So, when you are certain, just like our father was certain, just like he spoke in parables, because he said only a few will get this. Just like it says in the Bible also, you know, many are called, but only a few are chosen. You know what I'm talking about? My baby says that a lot. You know what I'm talking about? Thank you, sweetheart, for your prayers. I love you, sweetheart. Yes, Lord Jesus. 
for your prayers for us and our children. You come on. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for blessing me with a wonderfully beautiful God fearing woman. You come on. Woman of God. You come on. Child. His daughter. You come on. Yes, Lord. Listen. When you have your relationship with him, if you're not confident, you know, you're not certain. I'm talking about just because someone, you know, is saying that they're a believer, that leaves room for error. You know what I'm talking about? Room for attacks. That's why we cancel, denounce, and rebuke that judge, Jack. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. We're not going back. We're not dumbing down. We're, d we're wising it up. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. You know, I saw something earlier while I was doing some research. And they had a triangle of words, and it was upside down. You know what I'm talking about? And that triangle of words, it says something that I just got through speaking on. So they were actually challenging my authority in my eyes. I don't know that joint, but God let me see what they did. You know what I'm talking about? That joint got instantly canceled. You know what I'm talking about? Because I said what I said. I told them everything that they laid down in that upside down pyramid, read it all backwards, and there's your answer. You know what I'm talking about? See, the world wants you to be confused, so the devil will implant people in certain places to keep you that way, to dumb you down. That pyramid was upside down. I told him to read it upright. Because, you know, Jesus is upright. And they were speaking on something about God. Why would you put something upside down? That's just like putting a cross crucifix upside down. But it was hundreds of people liking this. Not seeing the veil over their eyes. We will not sell our soul. I don't know if y'all heard that, but some just screamed outside. You come out. Yes, Lord Jesus. This here is authentic to nothing. And that's not the first time that I've had something do that from the truth that I speak. You know what I'm talking about? They don't want you to know truth. Everything is supposed to be backwards. From darkness because it is the opposite. So those things that you pray for, that you wish for, that you hope for, that you dream for, they will implant someone to get your attention to, to teach you something backwards. And just because it has the representation of God, as they put it, they know that a lot of people want to be closer to God because these are the end days. You know what I'm talking about? That's their ploy to throw you off his path. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. He put this and he been hitting me. I seen that. I said, joint. You come up. You got to get up out my eyesight. You come up. Uh-uh. No. You come up. And I don't care about no big old crowd and people agreeing with me. None of that junk. You ain't got to. But if it makes sense to you, you come up. Walk with me as I walk with Christ. You come up. Yes, Lord Jesus. He sent out his disciples, 12 of them joints, to preach his gospel. Few of them 
got corrupt. Few of them, I believe, I haven't seen it yet in the Bible, ran into Caesar and cut a deal with them. That's why we have this stuff going on in the church about money and they turn church into a business for profit. We call it a non-profit. Is that backwards or what? Yo, come on! And I'm not getting down on no joint. I'm just speaking facts. You know what I'm talking about? These are facts. These are things that they don't want you to think about. So they attempt to gain your attention somewhere else. They'll even not put on a show. They'll call up a DJ. They'll do this. Hey, we going to do this and do that over there when people start getting wise. Like, hey, man, these is lies. You know what I'm It be the same type of people. And like I said, I'm not getting down on no churches. You know what I'm I'm not getting down on nobody. I'm speaking facts. Because I would not sell my soul. We have already relinquished our soul unto the Lord. You know what I'm talking about? And that is what is irritating these evil people. You know what I'm talking about? That's what's irritating these people about my baby, my God ordained. That's what's irritating people about me. That's what's irritating people about you who listen to this and know that what I'm speaking is true. Woo. Yes, Lord. Now, we cancel, denounce, and rebuke all word curses, all evil eyes, all jealousy, all hate, all despise, all envy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. You know, I seen something else just not too long ago, like probably about 30 minutes or so. You talking about where it was a lady, religious lady, you talking about faithful, every day like me, you talking about like you, every day, but in their faith, their faith was Hinduism. Guess who saved her life? Do I have to say it? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? I'm going to say it anyway. You know what I'm talking about? Because we pray and praise his holy name. You know what I'm talking about? Jesus Christ. And she admitted it about her mouth. And what did those people do? They started hating on them. They started doing things to them. Just like the devil would. Those with Christ-like minds. Hey. You don't want to learn. You don't want to listen. Go ahead. We pray for you, but we must keep moving on. We ain't forgot about you. We'll still feed you or whatever. You talking about? Because that's what our father did. But those people turned evil because they was already evil. You know what I'm talking about? You see, that brings me back to my theory about how these different entities of different religions came about in the first place. You see, when he sent forth his legion of angels going after the fallen, the watchers, you know what I'm talking about? Those people in villages who never seen such magical things start worshiping them giants. And them joints start making themselves kings and queens amongst the land. Because they misuse their gifts from God to oppress others. Mm -hmm. Makes sense to me. You know what I'm talking about? I'm going to make that analogy again about the Sphinx and his nose missing. You know. They wanted to put up an illusion of, oh, you know, it had a, a black person nose and and this and that and the third happened to it, you know. I believe our father's right-hand man, his angel, Archangel Michael, 
came through and saw that molten image and got upset and knocked that joint deal off. You come out and flew off and went and arrested. What was his name? Something started with a Z. You come out. We don't give them joints no glory. You come out. He was one of the followers. You come out. Yes, Lord. Ooh. Yes, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your angels and your true destiny help us. Come on. Yes, Lord Jesus. We pray for them as well, Lord Jesus. Let every prayer that they pray come true through you. Yes, Lord Jesus. Do what it do. We pray everything of you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the glory, Lord Jesus. We thank you for everything that you do for us. Yes, Lord, it's in you that we trust. We will not sell our soul. I'm talking about. They got to snatch it from you, Lord Jesus. And they can't snatch nothing from our Father. Yes, Lord. Lord Jesus, what you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to tell our people? This is Sunday evening. Your day that man designated for you to rest. Every day is your day, Lord Jesus. We give you all the glory. We thank you for everything that you do for us. Ooh. Give us a good one like you always do. Let these scripts help me. Let them help someone else through. Where you got us at? Where you got us at? Where you got us at? <clears throat> he got us off in old Proverbs. Proverbs 8 and Proverbs 9. Proverbs 8, between 5 and 6. And Proverbs 9, right on verse 12. But you already know what we're going to do. We're going to run this joint and run that devil back to hell. Yes, Lord. Says, oh, simple ones, learn prudence. Oh, foolish man, pay attention. Yes, Lord Jesus, I can't make this John up. It wouldn't even try it. You know talking about? But we're going to put the devil on the diet. You know what I'm talking about? And give our souls to the Lord. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus, give it up to him. He's going to take care of it. Come on, he's going to take care of his children. Yes, Lord Jesus. Eternally, you know what I'm talking about? You will not rest in that eternal infernal. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord. From doing evil to people. Ooh. It says, Here for I speak noble things, and from my lips, will come what is right yes lord jesus you talking about yes lord jesus christ ooh. Ah. Ooh. yes lord jesus yeah we running that giant you talking about he says for my mouth will utter truth wickedness is an abomination to my lips. You come up. I only want sweet things on my lips. You come up, my baby, sweet lips. Yes, Lord Jesus. Ooh. Says, all the words of my mouth are righteous. There's nothing twisted or crooked in it. You come up. Not even my teeth. You come up. Yes, Lord Jesus. 
It says, There are all straight to him who understands. Those who understand. What I just got through saying earlier about why he spoke in parables. You talking about? Because some knowledge is some, just too much for some people. You talking about? Those people be in disbelief. But what did I say about those who he turned into believers? You talking about? They will become achievers and be confident in the Lord. That's Lord Jesus. Ooh. Says. And write to those who find knowledge. It don't matter where you get it from. As long as you get it. Get it. You know what I'm talking about? It's a lot of people out here that know how to do a lot of things that they ain't have to prove to man on paper. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. But what do man want to do? Bind you to paper. To words. To a spell. It says. For the knowledge. That you exhale. Take my instruction. Instead of silver. And knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than jewels. And all that you may desire cannot compare to her. Not at all. There is none like you, Lord Jesus. None at all. See, it's authentic or nothing. Says, I, wisdom, dwell in prudence, and I will find knowledge and discretion. The fear of the Lord is hatred of evil. Pride and arrogance are the ways of evil. And perverted speech, I hate. What I just got through saying about that, the words that they had in the triangle upside down. That was perverted speech. But since it wasn't being spoken, it wasn't being heard, it was being seen. It was still being camouflaged as the word of God. You talking about? Woo. If you get me, can you brail me? You talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. Oh, here now it says on verse 12. If you are wise, you are wise for yourself. If you scoff, you scoff alone. Go bear it. Foolish woman is noisy. A foolish woman is noisy. You know what I'm That's why I thank God for my rib. You know what I'm talking about? Remain unfazed and unbothered, baby. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. We are too blessed to be stressed. Yes, Lord. Your baby is just being obedient. You talking about? I know that you already know. You talking about? God runs the show. Yes, Lord. He is in full control. She is wanton and knows no shame. He wants us to be blameless. You talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. These other joints, they. Gossiping, attempting to mix the gospel with it. You talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. 
putting veils out, just like a spider. You talking about how a spider will weave a web and wait for a fly to come fly into it blindly. You talking about when they can't get their target, all those that they have drawn in start to become their next victims. So while, you know, these people, like my baby say, jump on these hate trains, they are sacrificing themselves. They have sold their soul to hate with somebody else. You talk. They don't even like them. Because when they get their feel of those who they draw in like that, they're going to move on to the next one, and to the next one, and to the next one. But those who escape the snares of the fowler shall be free indeed. Yes, Lord Jesus. It says, she sits at the door of her house. She takes a seat on the high places of time, calling to those who pass by, who are going straight on their way. Whoever is simple, let him turn in here. And to him who is without sense, she says, stolen water is sweet and bread is eaten in secret is pleasant but he does not know that the dead are there that her guests are in the depths of shore the proverbs of solomon Ooh. No, you had Lila, you had Delilah, you had uh, Vanchi, a bunch of wicked joints. You talking about just as well as you had a bunch of good ones. Come on. Those joints that I just mentioned in the first part of what I just got through saying were mighty web weavers. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. And that spirit runs rampant right now to this day. There are many mighty web weavers that we must be aware of and have our discernment sharpened by the Lord. You know what I'm talking about? Says iron sharpens iron. So those who know what I'm talking about will see what I'm talking about. Talking about yes, Lord Jesus. It says a wise son makes a glad father, but a foolish son is a sorrow to his mother. Treasures gained by the wicked do not profit, but righteousness delivers. From death. Treasures gained by wickedness do not profit. They are, you know, gaining treasures that's not really going to profit them when he comes through. <laughs> Come on. Yes, Lord Jesus. They can't buy their way up out of his wrath. Yes, Lord Jesus. Remain on his path. Remain seeking his face. Remain asking him for mercy so that he can give you grace and favor you all of your days. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Lord Jesus. This here is authentic or nothing. And yes, Lord, before I go, you already know. Baby and babies, I love you, 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 I love y'all. You talking about, yes, Lord Jesus. <laughs> we got this, sweetheart, because God got us, baby. 
I'm talking about, I love you, Bill. I'm talking about, I love y'all children. Yes, Lord Jesus, and forgive me. We love y'all children. I'm talking about, yes, Lord. This here is authentic and nothing. And for all the rest of y'all joints, I'm talking about, stay prayed up. Stay discerned. Stay aware. Because awareness is where it starts in being confident and being confident in the Lord. Yes, Lord. Later on.